basics of the layers of the adrenal gland. First off, you got the cortex, which is going to be on the outside of the adrenal gland, which is separated into three different layers, the zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata, and the zona reticularis. And then finally, you've got the medulla portion of the adrenal gland that's going to be on the inside. So now let's take a look at these three layers of the cortex. The first layer, the zona glomerulosa, is going to create mineral corticoids. An example of that is going to be aldosterone. The outer layer is pretty much going to be controlled by the renin angiotensin system. Next, you've got the zona fasciculata, which is going to secrete glucocorticoids, and an example of that is cortisol. That is going to be under the control of the, uh, the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, and ACTH will be the main uh, stimulant for that. Next, you've got the zona reticularis, and that's going to make the sex hormones, and then the two examples of that, uh, DHEA and testosterone. Finally, you've got your medulla, which is going to secrete your catecholamines, so norepinephrine and epinephrine. A nice little mnemonic to remember these uh, different layers and what they produce. Uh, something that's kind of gotten me through undergrad and now medical school. You found go find Rex, make good sex. So G F R M G S. Go find Rex, make good sex. And those line up. Um, just like the little playful mnemonic goes.